All right, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 10. The quest for more, uh... It's a oh. ghost! Oh, I'll talk to fucking Rusty, okay? There's a ghost here? That's oh, fine, yeah. just a ghost of the servant. It's yeah. fine, don't worry about you it. recognize the doll from the town square in Driftwood. The wounds from his spiked collar are healing well. Oh, hi! How are you? I'm good. Hey, do you smell that? It smells like the fish place, doesn't it? Like fish, only, uh... Worse. Okay, bye. Ah, uh, goodbye, Rusty. The spirit cannot speak, or perhaps chooses not to. Seriously? <laughs> he still doesn't speak. Careful now. If graves you dig, I'll warn you now. Beware the creak and then the click. Then comes the bang. Then comes the bang. <laughs> what happened? Close your eyes and listen. Sure. The spirit's memories play out before you in darkest black. The sound alone relates the tale. A self-styled archaeologist, some would call you a grave robber, you found the grave of Baron Wilmot Hogg IV. Your footsteps crunch light upon the gravel as you approach the tomb. You know that Hogg was avaricious, paranoid and cruel, and you yourself value the first of these two traits most highly. You ease your way up to the grave and run your hand around the lid, searching for a trap you find nothing. The wind whispers in the trees, and the grass rustles quietly. You slide the lid open with a creak, click. Uh-oh, you think. Bang! The silence of the night is rent with a sound of screaming. You're screaming as you burn to death. Offer your commemorations. Commiserations. Commiserations. I knew the risks. If graves you'd open, beware the creak and then the click. Then comes the bang! Then comes the bang! <laughs> I have only one regret. I didn't get the loot. I didn't get the loot. First came the creak, and then the click. Then came the bang! That's enough. Creak, click, bang! Careful. I've spotted a trap. Oh, it's this guy. First came the creak, and then came the... Okay, so there's a tra... This thing is trapped, by the way. Good thing I have trapped sockets. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, I'll let dwarf handle this, or fucking beasts, or whatever. The dwarf. I'll <laughs> go get it. Can I not use it on that? Can I not trap the socket? It. I can't. Well, you know what? He could take it. Can I get a can I get a save and a shame thing for good luck? That's it. Did you get the items? Yeah. Okay. It's a dazzling bolt skill book and nothing else apparently. All right. A ruby. Oh, there's a goodie here. Beat your dick. Did you throw that on that bird? Here lies Margilinia Pruitt, who won many battles, at the bridge and elsewhere. You were kind and honest, and devoted to your dog. But you came a-knocking here in search of work, and the dog took a fancy to the man of the house. Your own dog turned on you and tore you down. Oh, what a fucking piece of shit. Alright, let's go. I want out. I want to kill those Void Woken down there. We all want to kill those Void Woken. Who even likes Void Woken? Dude, the worst. Fucking locked. It's impossible to get past. Yeah, don't worry, I I've experienced no. blocking doors. No, it's impossible. Alright, I opened it somehow. Alright. Uh, so they're just chilling here. Oh, this is the two that we could have fought before that. Yeah, we're on the other side of the river now. Alright, uh, I'll keep Sabil up here, I guess. You want, you want to just bring uh, hit, uh, him in first or whatever? Maybe I'll put, maybe I'll put Sabil on the high ground here. Or maybe up here? I don't know. How about, I'm going to have uh, Beast open the fight. I mean, like really close oh to them. shit, that's three of them, dude. 
I don't give a fuck. Beast can take it. Just, there you go. Alright. And now we can, like, all arrange. Did a lot of damage to him. All right, what should I do? Should I just fly in there or what? Or whatever you do, consider that they are gonna get the two of them haven't moved yet. That's what I'm trying to say. One sec. Target right, is too far. Uh, I can't really do anything at long range. I don't want you to fly in then. Don't worry. I I, I summon in Condor. We won. This is really a hard fight. Fuck, I missed. I'm bad. You know what? It doesn't even matter. I'm not defend. afraid Yours? anymore. Mine has armor. Yeah, so. Mine does lots of damage. But mine's a you faithful. Fight? Mine's a faithful companion. This is mine. That's no, not. Mine even gets haste. <laughs> I'm gonna give my death with this bitch. I win. Mine even gets uncanny evasion. He has as much dinner as he likes. How far he can run for that? Oh, he can run far. He can run real far. Alright, let's keep focused. Eyes in the prize. Let me have the white book in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll get that one because I have uh, assassination. You get what you're given. <laughs> Taunt. That was a pretty good turn. <laughs> you're up there. Yeah. Piece of shit. I actually oh, I another one! What the hell? Oh, I can't actually hit any more of them, though. But I can go to, like, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna try maybe Tactical Retreat, uh... Not up there. I probably shouldn't go anywhere like that. Let's go try going here. Can I hit them over here? Yes, I can! Oh, that's a very good angle. Alright, uh, let's go do Ricochet. I killed another one? The fuck? What have you done with your life? I well went and then buttering rammed them. But like, another one spawned, so do with it what you will. Would you like me to hit that one a little bit, or kill the one on the ground? Nah, that's maybe? fine. You probably just... Honestly, Red Prince could probably CC him. Cause he goes next, I think. That guy's pretty fucking dead. I can't really get that far, actually. Well, you should have the... I got it. Yeah, battle stuff, yeah. Oh, I trusted you. None. Alright, alright. It's my, my turn now. <laughs> Eat shit. Poisoned, but you're a flying guy. Here, right, one second. That would be nice. Okay, that did nothing. You can't, you can't do that to cursed ground. The fuck? Where, where's this fucker come from? Alright, I'll finish it off. Inside the building. Don't miss! It's a 100% chance to hit. Is there anything else to kill? Where's combat on end? Yeah, I was gonna say, look. It's fucking combat. Oh, anthropod leg. Anthropod leg, ruby. Okay, why do these things keep coming back? 
my lad's gonna wanna make sure his ma's all right after that. How do we get rid of this fucking poison ground? Fire. Well, it's not cursed anymore, I think, so... Yeah. Okay. Can't get rid of any more of it, though. <laughs> Try to wait for it. Yeah. What? It's only a bit of poison. No, I don't want to touch it. Oh, apparently that person does. There we go. You know, I guess I could just use a rain scroll. Mari flashes a massive horsey smile at you, then winces, her left arm hanging limply at her side. By the seven, that was something. What'd I tell you? Who's this fucker? Not a scratch on me. None that last, at least. Glad my lord, I got to see it. Uh, nod. Uh, where her hand is pressed to her abdomen. Ask, ask if she's alright. Oh, sure. Just a nasty bruise by the feel of it. May have to lay off blasting beasties for a day or two or after. The fighters lament. She's selling a razzle dazzle grenade, by the way. Didn't catch your name, though. I'm Mari. Uh, bow slightly and tell her you're known as the Red Prince. Pleasure's mine. You all right? Uh, laugh a little. You had to be asking that question. Don't know about you, but I never was afraid of bugs. Then again, if you hadn't rolled in when you did, I might be whistling Tiddle Dee in a void woken's belly by now. I owe you one. Tell her you're uniquely interested in destroying Voidwoken. She doesn't owe you anything. A bug squasher, are you? Impressive. I hate to cut this short, but I ought to dash off. My boy's waiting for me. He's like right in front of you. Mind lowering the bridge, though. <laughs> I find myself slightly indisposed for the moment. There you are, my good looking lad. Ma! Let me get a good look at you. You're okay. Of course I am, Ma. Are you? Fit as a fiddle. And <laughs> what's the size? And the house? She'll be all right. Loot the house. Get to it. <laughs> I knew this was coming. I'm talking. I mean, probably should send this all to the uh, all to the ship though, because it's all stolen. It's the plans that I'm doing. I don't know. I, did, I just I, I just stopped caring. I'm just sending it all to you. What if you could do? Fight us? Yes. They're just repeating this. Canvas pants. Sovereign's Orb, fuck yeah. There's so much good shit here. Junk. You're not seriously giving it to me, are you? Yes. Of course I am. Oh shit, a Gambison. Bottle filled with oil. I'll give you that. Don't give me that shit. Give me everything. So much good shit here, actually. Bunch of papers on grenades. There you go. We got two new recipes, too. Today was worth. Alright, I'm gonna check out the basement. I need some cheese cheese bread, it's important. Basement? Where's the, where's the basement? Let me get a good look at you. Yo, where's the basement? Should I ping it? Oh, there it is. One sec, we, we're gonna need to have some privacy for this. To close the door again, yeah? Rather large for a cellar, isn't it? Why do we get experience for this? Because, painting of a landscape? Oh, this isn't even ceiling anymore? What the hell? What? This is all fair game. Under lock and key. Uh, level 2 lock. That's impossible. Beast, you want to come open this jar of pickles? 
baskets, empty What's grenade. What's actually locked? The, the fucking door. Oh, dude, nursery rhymes. Fuck yeah. It sucks. Effing can have this. P oh Pain. god, why is there a whole dungeon here? Oh, delicious cheese bread. Cool. I didn't ask for this. Wouldn't you want a dungeon? Brass ring. I'm bad at Starving painting dwarf. of Alexander. Display case. Dude, that plate armor. I mean... Wait, you actually encumbered beast? Wow! <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna fuck that. Nothing is worth that. Wait, I don't have to do with this. You give it to Sabeel. Storm Lady Vengeance. <laughs> Did you steal the plate armor? Uh, yes. Oh Bruh. shit. What the hell is this? I don't know, touch Just it. Step on it. Click. Oh, the door locked. No! I don't deserve this! All over the floor. Let me out. Oh shit. I'm sure there must be a safety switch down here somewhere. Just kind of in there now? Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I could probably just like teleport out or whatever the fuck. What's this? I found something. No, that's... Okay. Alright, let me get to be able to lead this. Oh, there's jelly rooms. Yeah, boy. What does he even do? I'm gonna eat one. Uh, air resistance. Awesome. There's a thing here. Oh, that's a way up. The fuck is this? Oh, it's just like above her thing place. Oh, let's go back down. Oh, you used the bucket to get up? Yeah. Neat. I mean, this is another way into there. I guess I'll teleport a pyramid over. No, I'm I'm over here. No, no, I can, like look around. I mean, I guess there really yeah, isn't anything here. Why well, see something? What do you see? The area up there. Which I don't think I can get to, but you can get to it. Yeah, of course I can. Oh, up there, I see. It's like a little midway point you can probably fly to. Yeah, Super Mario is on the job. Yeah, just, you can do it, and I'll tell it over to you. Give me a sec. Right, you've had several. Come on over. All right, and I'll teleport. I'll just get Sipi up here. Oh, you bad man. <laughs> the turtle looks up at you, slowly. It looks down, slowly. It looks back to you, slowly. Lucky in life, unlucky in love. Console her, she in love with someone who doesn't love her back. She lets loose a long sigh. She inhales, she sighs again. Oh, Rory, the rat. He's just over there. Don't blink, or he'll flip right past. Like a... Like a rat. Please, Grace. I'm gruel. I'm too slow to give him smooches. And he's so smoochable. If only I could keep up. I could groan sweet things in his little ears. I could tell him I love him. I could share my beats. Mm. I like beats. Alright, we'll talk to the rat for her. Oh, how kind. But I don't like butter. You could try carrot juice. Or some kind of Slender continue. Nectar? Do rats like nectar? Maybe cheese juice. Is there such a thing as <laughs> cheese juice? We've never heard of cheese juice. Oof. Oh. 
That's too bad. Because then you could cheese juice her up. She grins at her own joke. It takes a good minute for her mouth to reach a full smile. Very slow. All right, let me go talk to the rat. I hear something scurrying around. You, apple potato cheese. Uh, hungry is he? You'll tell the rat you'll drop him some food if you get the chance. The rat's tail twists and untwists. His ears cock and uncock. Food, food, food. Okay, what kind of food do we have? Well, let me go to Beast and find out. Oh, there you go. I gave him something. Can't talk hungry. Uh, don't slow down to trust something you say to him. Hungry cheeseberry. The rat vacuums up your scent. Its whiskers twitch. Food. Wants more food. How much he food wants is... cheese bread. I, I I just ate cheese bread. <laughs> uh. I can make cheese bread. No time. Need food. Hmm. Do I have dinners? No time, need food. Dude, he's eating so much right now. He's a growing guy, he needs it. Medium healing potion. He just like ate everything I had. Did you give him everything you had? Is he done yet? No. Still hungry. What does he say? Still, I can't talk hungry. Plus, if you talk to me, he asks for, like, some more cheese bread. I, I mean, I ate cheese bread already, so I gave him, like, yeah, actual food. Did you give him cheese bread at all? No. Alright, how about I make some cheese bread, then? Okay, Hang so on. Make cheese bread. There's apple God. pie. There's apple pie here. Don't give him the apple pie. It's bad for him. Oh, okay. Uh, fine, go make apple pie. I eat dough. I make dough. I need flour, milk, and eggs. Fuck, it's hard to make cheese bread than it looks. If only you hadn't eaten the cheese bread. We lost. How do you. Where are you getting cheese bread from? You need to make dough, and then bake the dough with cheese, make cheese bread. But, but, but why, why are you still onto cheese bread? Because he said that in his dialogue. Did he? Yeah, he, like, you know, like, talk to him. One second. He says, can't talk hungry. No time, need food. You don't drop a food if the you get the chance. The rat's tail twists and untwists. He's food. Hey, he just wants food. In one of his dialogues, he had a quick line that was just like, he wants cheese bread. I gave him actual cheese. It's like, good enough. Alright, fine. Let's oh, I know, I know how. Okay, teleport the rat to the fucking turtle. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, you're supposed to bait him in with the food to go to the turtle. But you can t just teleport him. Fucking dumb. This kills the rat. That's why no worries. Oh, he's over there. Out of range. Little shit. Where is he? Okay, one second. Let me drop some food in the ground for him. That's cool. I got him. <laughs> no time. Need food. One second. Drop the pumpkin here. The turtle looks up at you. Lucky in life made the so one second. There you go. Why are you talking to them? I was holding them in place. Yeah. 
cuddles for days. Yeah. Love is in the hay. This is an odd place to find a turtle who's your owner. Used to be the ladies. Was there one day and wasn't the night. Striker now. Nice guy. Gives me beats. I like beats. May the soil under your feet stay ever smooth. All right, that's it. We just got shit on experience for it, I guess. That's that's literally all you get. Worth. Worth. Worth losing all those dinners. I fucking I don't care. All right, what, where are we right now? Uh, it's over here. Oh, we're not supposed to be down there, actually. Uh, hello, gentlemen. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. <laughs> All right. You in a bad spot? Can to get out of there? Nah, that's fine. It's fine. Want to walk through the graveyard again, though? All right. So do we basically? Yeah, we basically did just finish up there. So I mean, we're done with that engagement, I guess. I guess we're gonna go. Let's go to the. Uh, let's go to the, uh, the 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 buried valuables. Actually, I see some buried valuables. Go over there somewhere. Okay, boss. Not your boss. Okay, pal. I only get to tell you a little bit of what to do. Only a little bit. Yeah, I probably could have gone to the waypoint, but whatever. I'm just debating on where to go next. Gotta walk those legs, you know. Yeah, exactly. I wonder if you're wise enough to deal with the skeleton yet. No, because we need books or something. I don't know where they are, but well, we'll 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 deal with it at some point, I'm sure. Going over here first, though. All right, sit. give it a good old save, Rooney. Watch this. I found something. Yeah, this is the thing that I wanted. In the box. Fucking dagger. Flashing footsteps, pyrokinetic, fire resistance, and movement. Okay, well, I'll just give that to Effin. Wander the dwarf. Give it to Effin. And you can just sell the dagger. Let's, uh, who's over here? Gridris Swan. Who the fuck is this guy? Hey, sucker. A man paces back and forth, puffing anxiously on a pipe. His face is creased with tiredness. The faint coppery hue of dried blood stains his hands. He sees you. If you're looking for healing or the like, then you'd best look elsewhere. My... my plate is full, for now. Rebecca Day doesn't look like much like a healer. I'm a country healer. Understand, lad? I work for a living. Not like those soft-handed fops who tend to merchants parchment cuts in arcs. Alright, not the trace of the blood on his hands and ask what is preoccupying him. The man chomps on the bit of his pipe, generating a small cloud of nervous smoke. Finally, he plucks it from his mouth and clears his throat. I came by a new patient, a young woman, very troubled. I'll do what I can for her, but I'll need to concentrate. And that means... He gestures with his pipe for you to leave. So you have knowledge of healing and offer to help. Oh, fine. You can help. Take this key and go to the cellar. I'll join you there. Just be careful. It's clear she's a powerful sorcerer, but also whatever she was subjected to was warped her in body and mind. I have her locked up for good reason. Oh, sweet. Hey, you unlocked something. Good job. Yeah. I'm going to the cellar. Alright, so there's a sorcerer here. Hungry. Across the cellar, a shape bearing some resemblance to a woman lurches around to face you. It utters a marrow-curdling gurgle. She senses us. Be calm and quiet. No sudden moves. Point out a partially he healed circular wound upon the woman's scalp. Uh, 
trepidation wound. Someone opened her head and tinkered around, it seems. You're right. I hadn't noticed before. Couldn't get close enough. We have to help her. Maybe we can reverse whatever was done to her. Alright, even if there's a small chance of saving her, we have to try. Alright. We need her subdued, understand? Do whatever you can to knock her down. Just don't go too far, or you might kill her. Another gurgle. Sharper, angrier. Then the sound of rapid footfalls rushing towards you. Alright, so we're gonna fight her, and we have to just knock her down. Oh. Oh. What the? That's a big guy. Uh, Sibyl is terrified. Or not. Terrified failed. I mean, I can knock her down in one turn. But, no, I can't actually. How, how do you think we should do this? I think we should try and focus her and knock her down, but... I think there might be something more to these summoned guys. Hovering, hovering, they're, they're all hovering. They're all pretty tough though, they have a lot of physical armor, a lot of physical armor. She's too strong. She must be weakened or there's no way to help her. Well, glad you're over there. We, yeah, we really should focus her. I mean, I was looting. I didn't know it was going to turn into a fight. I mean, I assumed it would, but I didn't think it would be like fucking four things summoned around her. Th this guy has more armor and magical armor than all of us. <laughs> so we're not supposed to kill her, we're just supposed to knock her down. Alright. How much have you have left? Uh, a bunch, but... Enough. I'll see what happens if you knock her down. Nice. I mean, what she's knocked down. I mean, that's, that's what it said, though, to do. It says, we've entered the cellar, the woman should be close. Huh. I guess we'll defeat all the things around. Oh, I guess he's gonna come over there and, uh, and, uh, heal her, so. Okay. Is that what he's doing? Or no? I have no idea. Okay. Well, who do we want to jump on then? I, I don't know. Natalie's Fear, Champion, Fury, Fear, okay. I, I, I really don't know. I mean. Maybe just the Fear? I mean, they, they do have, like, no armor. Or, so they have no, they have no health. Like, but they just have armor, so. Um, oh, piercing damage really good then. Yes, it would be. So I have two sources of piercing damage. And that's it. Okay. So I'm going to try and get that going. Actually, I may have removed it. It looks like I removed it. Yeah, I did remove it. So we're going to have to just do it the old fashioned um, way. Don't want to fortify the beal or uh, Red Prince. Sibyl is invisible right now. So. Okay, then. She's fine. Unless she finds a way to get wet. Uh, I certainly hope not. Blinded. Alright, what's our plan here? What should we do? Let's just try and kill these beasts, I guess. I mean, yeah. bull rush is piercing, so we just, we can bull rush every damn turn. I guess that's a good, not a bad plan. I don't know if we've seen anything that does piercing damage. I don't think I have anything that does piercing damage besides bull rush. Oh, I have grenades. I have some arm piercing grenades. Yeah, the fear is almost dead. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, but he doesn't have anything else. I think Marksman's Fang does that, doesn't it? Uh, with what the with Sibyl? Sibyl's. She doesn't have it on right now. Ah damn. Yeah. Well, I didn't think we'd be in this kind of situation. <laughs> Eat shit.
Nice. We're all pretty chill. I would like to get out of this. Seville's basically dead. Okay, she's dead. Everyone's frozen? Yeah. I can save one wait, person. What are they, wait, what are they, Oh, they're killing your champion. I can whirlwind it, does a bit of damage to her, but it won't kill her. I can't select this guy for life of me. Look at his portrait. That doesn't work. I guess I'll throw up a taunt just to make sure there isn't. It's one less person killing the party, I guess. Blocked by physical armor. <laughs> what are you shame picking for? You didn't taunt them. I I know I didn't taunt them. The old physical armor. I taunted the uh, little woman. Please save Sibyl. Literally 10 health. <laughs> I mean, I'll try. Where is it? There. Rallying, Rallying Cry. Should do a bit for Sibyl. Let's go look at Portrait. Alright, that helps. Alright. So, I can now do Soulmate to unfreeze someone? Yes. Whoever, I don't care. I think just Beast, because he goes next. Alright. And I think, um, yes, I can actually get you as well. I can get both of you. Blinded. I think you can still bull rush you when blinded. Not uh, very far though, but that's fine. That guy has not a lot of HP, but that's fine. Oh, am I still blinded? I am. Um. Which, how much uh, range do you have with that? Not a lot. So I think I might spend his turn more defensively. So the next turn I can actually bull rush. Do you have anything to make it so that uh, the bird becomes unfrozen, like a fire spell or something? Uh, it... no. Okay, fine. And then this guy at least. Actually, I have something with the uh, Red Prince that has that action. I mean, I, I'm just gonna go for a like, short one. Like it might do. Yeah, it did some. There you go. I guess rest of town I'll just set him up for going to the get the fear guy. <laughs> Attack him up to you. Size blocked by magic armor. But now I'm suffocating. Oh no. Icebreaker. The fuck. Go. So you can go peck the fear. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's uh, it's still on cooldown actually. Oh well. Uh, okay, go hide. Oh shit! Oh, he's fucking dead. I don't know, he's terrified. Sorry, I didn't realize that, that it had a large cooldown. Must be his time to shine. Alright, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to fuck out. Alright, do I have anything that pierces? Anything at all. I, really I have an like, arrow. I, yeah, that's why that's what I was looking at. I, I but that none of that does anything. When it gets to my turn, I'll lead with the grenade. On the Ethan, I mean. Alright, maybe the guy that's in the corner there, I'll just uh hit him with a bunch of shit then. Or if you can shoot the anguish, he's got low physical armor right now. Well lowest. Shoot the anguish. Yeah, that's not bad. Because the other one I can kill, I can definitely kill the other two. Like the fury and the fear will die to the arm piercing grenade. Okay. Dominate mind. Oh, nice. Pretty sure I could just. <laughs> no bird. Pretty sure that's actually not a problem in the long scheme of things. 
Oh well. Oh, what things have to spiel? All right, throw a grenade All in right. there. Let's see where is it? Nail bomb? No, that's physical. Do I not have a fucking LPS grenade? That's stupid. We lost. It's okay. We have two. Oh, we have two people that can do fucking bull rush. Let me just check my actual inventory because I might have been added outside the bag because it does that sometimes. It does. I have one. It's fine. Um, can I get this? Fuck, this, this tit is so weird. Oh, this should be good. Your maker. Okay. That gives us a lot of experience. Okay, I can also... That's the one we're going to have to focus on next. Okay. Let's do one of these. Can I do that and still do the thing I want? Like, well, I kind of can. It, how, how afraid are we of the Incarnate Champion? Uh, I don't know. It's yours, so... It's like 150 damage hit. Eh, not that much. I don't... I think we'll be fine. I think I'd rather get some... No! Okay, no, that's as bad. Okay. I almost healed Sabeel. That would've been bad. Yeah, don't do that. So I can do this instead. So if I'm gonna do that... All right, I'm gonna just uh, get. This should, yeah, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> you summoned a cat. I'll just do this to give to be a little bit of my health. I have a cat now. Just go. <laughs> if you like do you like no damage? Hey, that's what I was expecting. I start focusing this one down. I think. That, that 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 one's dead. Or wait, who gets the turn next? Yeah, that guy does. Despair gets the turn. Don't worry, Sabia will handle that with the anguish. Gotta the poles in the way. Surprised you chain ping that. <laughs> and I guess no, I'll save the point. I could use spirit vision, but that's rude. <laughs> That's ever stopped us. Uh. Oh, it's supposed to get you down. I mean, that's hey, healing itself. That's fine with us. Let me see here. Yeah, these things do give a lot of experience. Oh, really? Reference is too far. If only I had far out then. If only. Man, I just want your chain thing if you're not getting that. Don't worry, Collins will handle it. I don't think I have anything to really do here, so I'll just, uh. Uh, uh, just, just, just team, yeah. I mean, I'll probably make, maybe go over to her and knock her down, but... I almost... Okay, I'm, I, I almost lost. Why? I almost healed the enemy. Because it's such a big hitbox. Um... Wow, the range is really... No, okay, wrong spell. Wait, you're suffocating, why? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll just end turn, it'll be fine. <laughs> I was expecting to go up the ladder. This is what we would do. Asshole. Zzz. Yeah, whatever. Oh wait, I'm silent, so I can't use my ability. Ah, uh, okay. I guess we both are, actually. I'll just hit him Play turn. Wait. Delay turn. Oh, delay turn. For what? Same thing. Okay, well, enjoy your turn. <laughs> Alright, wait. <it's> <laughs> no, you go first, shithead. <laughs> Eat shit. Oh, man.
Just hit him. I don't, I don't, don't hit him. <laughs> I'll just hit him. I'll be sure to come closer to us. There you go. That makes it easier. Oh, nice. Hey, girl. I mean, you can probably just assassinate that guy, right? Maybe? I don't know, actually. Actually, yeah, I can. So, should I just knock down her or her? Or should I just use some... Maybe someone else could do it? <laughs> it did damage. It's fine, don't worry about it. I got the plan here. Sucker Bitch, punch. on the ground. Hmm. Is that it? Uh. Uh, okay, well, I guess we have to kill her a little bit? Just get down there. Uh, okay. I guess we gotta hurt her. Uh, I'm reluctant to put a totem down, actually. Yeah, don't do that. Let me save it. Because he's just saying, like, let's knock her down or something. Well, I'll hit him. I'll hit him with uh, Dwarf because he hits, like, a noodle. Okay. Yeah, that's it. The young woman lies still on the floor, her breathing an uneven <laughs> rasp. Swan's satchel of it's surgical so cool. tools lies nearby. Begin the operation. Swan approaches, cradling his arm with a grimace of pain. Those summons of hers broke my arm. I'll do what I can to help, but the rest is up to you. Tread right. carefully. One false move and she's dead. Which one should we do here? That one to save, because... Uh, do we want to work on the skull with a bone saw? Or take up a bone hammer and chisel and gently tap away at her skull? Fuck. <laughs> Ask Swan to keep her steady. Swan carefully holds her head steady with his one good arm. Something moves along her exposed lobe. It's a maggot of some kind. Uh. Should we let's let's take a pair of tweezers to it. The maggot is caught in the pinch of the tweezers and plucked off in a single swift movement. The woman's breathing has grown shallow as she hovers between life and death. All you can do is close her up and hope for the best. Uh, remark that Swan be able to help? Nah, let's just do it ourselves. You try to replace the bone extract. It doesn't seem to line up with a hole very well. You shove it in as best you can and draw the scalp down over it. Your hand passes over the needle and thread in Swan's satchel and instead fishes out a roll of bandages. You wrap the woman's head tightly. The woman's breathing grows stronger, more even. Color flushes her cheeks. She's alive. You did it. I've never seen anything like that, not in 20 years. I'll tend to her here for a while. She shouldn't be moved yet. She'll want to thank you once she comes round, I'm sure. Do you know how, do you know why I'm the best doctor? It's a damn miracle that she survived. You know, I feel like you should check that you did that right. <laughs> the young <laughs> like... woman blinks as she struggles to focus her vision on you. She looks weak, pale, but already visibly more human. It's you. Oh, wait, she's talking. I remember your face in the darkness. You, you saved me. What happened to you? The Magisters arrested me in arcs for sorcery. They strapped me to a table and, uh, and they put something in my head. Something alive. They put me on a caravan bound for Fort Joy. They said I was going to become a pet for the hammer. I could feel myself changing. I tore off the shackles that held me, like they were parchment. I remember hearing screams, feeling the blood of others on my hands, in my mouth. Then I ran. And then I woke up here. All right. Well, that's it for that. Oh, let's, uh, we have, we have some levels now, actually. Yeah, we do. Two-handed. Constitution and strength. Pretty much the same deal. Oh, more wits. Oh. Fuck yeah, 42% crit chance. 
Uh, range. Yeah. So, Going hard on those crits, aren't you, boy? Someone wanted some one of us to go. Uh. Someone wanted one of us to go fucking. I forget what it was. Oh, it was a uh, scoundrel to get some ability or something. But I'm lazy, so we're not doing that. Restoration scroll, FN. Yeah, loot this body here. Jelly room, spinning wheel. I was looking in here. Well, let me know that Michael's the. I'm oh, sorry, Michael. Mike Lad is the best. Uh, <laughs> Michael? <laughs> the best. Dude, is your name best Michael? Doctor. No, it's not. My name is actually, uh. Kent. Oh, dude, pizza dough. Rubbish. Rubbish? Was it, is it all kosher up there now? Can we steal it all? No, it's not. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> this gave it to you. Is he gonna be bad at you? Oh, no, he gave up here. Alright. Cellar hatch. What's the quest say actually for that? Successfully, she's gonna make a for full recovery. We should inform Swan of our success. Oh, okay, I'll go down there. <laughs> Don't worry about the pizza dough, it's missing. <laughs> <laughs> that was damn fine work you pulled off there. Consider me in your debt. I'll keep an eye on her until she's ready to fend for herself. If you find yourself in need of potions or healing, be sure to come to me. It's help yourself. Everything until he apparently time, will heal us. Take care of yourself. First aid skill book, restoration skill book, high tier blank skill book. For probably more for that. Uh, he sells lockpicks and empty potion bottles. We have no shortage of lockpicks, I assure you. He has a potion of strong will, immediate charm, terrified, silenced, blinded, cursed, taunted, and sleeping. So, large poison bottle. Yeah. And he's got a shit ton of uh, healing potions. Oh shit, red, red fabric dye is worth 1,100. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm good. Oh, dude, dude, reward. Oh shit. Two handed sword. Uh, I mean, it's not that much better than what I have. A one handed sword. Kind of meh as well. Exquisite Vest, Finesse 12. Inflict Chilled on Contact. Okay. Or Pagan Pants. Magic Armor, Physical Armor, 42 HP, Intelligence 12. That's actually probably pretty good. Do you want to... There's a 33 to 36 Physical uh, One-Handed Sword with 7 to 8 Earth and gives Strength, Dual Wielding, and Slowed for one turn. That does sound better than what I've got. I mean, it's either that or the Intelligente Pants. With, that gives HP and wit and shit and water resistance. It's my current pants. My current pants give me constitution and air resistance. So, not great. 86 magic and 18 physical? 86 magic? Yeah. My current one's a 22 magic. Well, I mean, this is pretty substantial upgrade then. Yeah, it is. Alright. Alright, here, have the pants. And there's also a pair of boots here too. Uh, he gave those for free. Those were a part of it. Livewood Log. And Medium Rock Rune. Uh, actually, that's a pretty good thing for this amulet. Manage Runes. Let's remove this one. Which Vitality does this give, I wonder? How much health do I have right now? I have 836. And now I will have... 864, wow. That doesn't really actually give a lot, does it? Oh well. Oh man. Okay, I can't swap these boots up because my current boots give me haste. That's pretty good. Okay, well. You know what we can do though? We can end the episode. I'm gonna stick my oh, no way, man. beehive though. I wanna, I wanna put something in there. Fuck. There's nothing I can put in there. Alright, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and see you guys next time. Goodbye. See you later!